Well, the Rockies need a run here to keep this game going. It's 3-2 in the bottom of the ninth inning, and here comes the closer these days for the Padres. It's Kirby Yates. He's had a terrific year. He's got five saves, including one in game one of this series. He's 4-2 and two and a 1.82 earned run average. 49 in the third innings in 50 appearances, so just about one per inning. Just 34 hits. He has struck out 68 and walked 13 with the opposition hitting just 190. Yeah, another one of the surprising guys for the San Diego bullpen after they traded Adam Simber and Brad Hand to the Indians. People wondered what would happen to the Padres bullpen, but it has remained solid. Jerry talked about it. They've had the best bullpen ERA in the entire league here in the second half of the season. Trying to shut down the Rockies. Nolan Arenado, 0 for 2, sacrifice fly back in the sixth inning. At the time, it gave the Rockies a 2 to 1 lead. 3 2 San Diego here in the ninth. Nolan swings at the first pitch and fouls it out of play. Yates, with the five saves this year, had two in his big league career coming into. 2018 did have 74 saves during his time in the minors. Nolan just one for eight against him a couple of walks. Oh one pitch look out. In tight to Arenado. This ninth inning brought to us by Wells Fargo the official bank of the Colorado Rockies. Story in para after Nolan. 1-1 one, one pitch. Low. Two balls and a strike. Let's pause. Station identification on the KOA Rockies radio network. Two balls and a strike on Arenado leading off the bottom of the ninth. 3-2 San Diego. Pitch to Nolan. Swing and a miss. Good action on that pitch. He'll throw a split-fingered pitch for a change of pace. It's in the mid to upper 80s, but has real late diving action to it. 2-2. Yates fires Nolan swings and misses out number one in the Rockies ninth Rockies with just five hits on the afternoon and they all came off the starter Luke Casey they had just two hits in four innings off the Padres bullpen Tuesday night. It's two and a third hitless so far this afternoon. Trevor, a little bloop double his last time up in the sixth inning. Right against right with Yates. Swings and misses at the slider. It's 0 and 1. Might have even been that splitter again. Yates gets his sign from Ellis. 0-1 pitch. Fastball either a little high or perhaps a little bit inside. That evens the count. Rockies looking to get a base runner. Trailing 3-2 here in the ninth. San Diego again proving troublesome here. At Coors Field, the pitch, Trevor fouls it away, the fastball, and he's down in the count, one and two. Just one walk by San Diego pitching on the day. That didn't hurt the starter, Luke Casey.
Yates ahead of Story, a ball and two strikes. The pitch loop towards right field. Coming on Jankowski, long run, won't get there. It drops for a hit. Second straight at bat where Trevor flares a ball to right field. It drops safely. The Rockies have the tying run aboard. Yeah, I couldn't, uh, couldn't ask for a better break than that because that ball dropped right between three players and right on the fair side of that foul line. A lucky break for the Rockies. Let's see if they can take advantage of it. Gerardo Paro came on defensively in the seventh inning. Bats for the first time. 284 on the year, five homers, 47 RBIs. 3-2 San Diego, but the tying run on with one out. Left-handed batter against the righty Yates, who takes a long look to first. Of course, story a steal threat. Pitch to Para is sliced foul. It'll drop into the crowd, lower deck, third base side. By law, we must tell you this is a copyrighted broadcast presented by the authority of the Colorado Rockies. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form without the express written consent of the Colorado Rockies. Speaking of legal, the Berg Simpson law firm's on your side. Berg Simpson, good lawyers, changing lives. Long look to first by Yates. Story edges out and on his lead and a throw over to first, and Trevor's back with a hand tag of the bag. Rockies trying to rally. Get at least one to keep the game going or maybe get another walk off win. Win picking up again swirling around the ballpark. There goes story got a huge jump Ellis's throw to second not nearly in time. Stolen base for Trevor his 19th. Now the tying runs in scoring position. Yeah, gutsy call there, sending the runner, because if he's thrown out, you're in pretty rough shape. But if you're successful, and Trevor has been this year, you work the odds, you got a right-handed pitcher as well, you're in pretty good shape. Pitch was a strike, so it's a two-strike count now on Para. But a base hit's going to tie up the ball game. Yates to the plate. And somehow Gerardo on that splitter just got a piece. The foul ball keeps the at bat going. Crowd of 30,000 plus. Looking for some Lodo magic on a windy Thursday afternoon. And Yates got set and now steps off. A look towards second. Pitch to Para. Fouled. He went with a high fastball and Gerardo fouled it to the left. Renfro playing a little more shallow in left. To Maybe have a play at the plate with a throw plus the wind. As I said, swirling, but in left field, the wind's going to stand the ball up a little bit. So Renfro can be a little bit more shallow. Pitch to Para, high and away, one and two. Margo, the center fielder, is way over into left center field. And Jankowski. Almost straight away in right, maybe shaded just a little bit towards right center. Pretty good gap in right center field. Yates working with the veteran catcher, A.J. Ellis. Glove out in front of his chest as he sets. One two pitch in the dirt got off of Ellis but bounced back to Yates and Trevor has to stay at second base. What a break for San Diego. 
pitch in the dirt. It hit the shin guard of A.J. Ellis and bounced right back to the pitcher. Well, number one, that it didn't get by A.J. Ellis, almost miraculous, and two, that it goes to the pitcher of all places, right back to the mound. And good job by Yates to, to jump down off the mound and get it. Yeah, that ball, by all rights, should have gone to the backstop or to the left or right behind home plate. Fortunate bounce for San Diego. 2-2 pitch in the dirt again, and Ellis has to block it. Yeah, he's spiked a couple of splitters. It's 3-2 and two now. Ian Desmond waiting on deck. Gerardo Parra has fought back from a two-strike count to run it full. Kirby Yates took too much time and will reset. A one out bloop single by Story, a stolen base. Now out there at second, 3 2 San Diego, one out here in the bottom of the ninth. 3 2 pitch to Para, swing and a miss. He got him with the splitter. Might have been ball four, but it's the second strikeout for Kirby Yates. Nasty pitch, just got it up out of the dirt, but kept it down to Gerardo Para. That comes in on a left handed hitter and down. That's a Great action, great action on a pitch, and Parr just couldn't find it. So Ian Desmond will be charged with the task of keeping this alive. Ian's had some big-time clutch hits for the Rockies this year. Looking for another one. He's 0 for 3 today. Strikeout line to third and chopped one back at the pitcher in the seventh. Right-handed batter against the righty Kirby Yates. The pitch. Outside, ball one. Rockies with Arizona and L.A. Idol hoping to gain some ground, not lose it, but... San Diego has him up against it with two outs in the ninth, trailing by a run. Yates checks story at second, the pitch. Driven towards left, going back, and this one is gone! Ian Desmond does it again! A walk-off winner for Ian Desmond. This place is going crazy. Multiple injuries last year. A slow start in 2018. So many people wanted to give up on Ian Desmond. Not his teammates and not him. As big a walk-off as the Rockies have had this year. Final score from Coors Field. Catch my breath. 